you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed to come on less. Things I know I should do, I don't do. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. On Monday morning between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., people getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like, jobs that are making them sick. But a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing, they stop wanting anything, they, they become satisfied. You see, when you're not pursuing your goal, you are literally committing spiritual suicide. It was Osborne who said, unless you attempt to do something beyond that, which you've already mastered, you will never grow. That you've got greatness within you. You have the ability to do things that you can't even begin to imagine. You have talents and skills in you that you haven't even begun to reach for yet. I had my wake up call. Now it's your turn. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talked yourself out of it? You will fail at some point in your life, accept it. You will lose, you will embarrass yourself, you will suck at something. See, you don't get in life what you want, ladies and gentlemen. You get in life what you are, not what you want. See, the good news is that we can always become more by working to develop ourselves. So the first process of making this your decade, you've got to begin to take a look at your life and look at where are you right now? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What gives your life a sense of fulfillment, a sense of joy? What does a full, rich life mean to you? What is it that you could love doing seven days a week that'll bring a smile to your face? Think about that. It doesn't matter what happens to you. The only thing matters, what are you going to do about it? But it calls on everything in you, ladies and gentlemen. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm coming back, and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. When you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for, that takes you out of your comfort zone, you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you had. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have passion, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you've got to start with that vision. You've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row.